Hey folks, what is up? Welcome to another episode of the Fitness Entrepreneur Show with me, Phil Graham. Today I want to talk about the difference between wealth and prosperity and which one matters most to you. Now, let me give you a bit of insight as to why I wanted to shoot this. It's simple. There are so many people striving for wealth, for money, for status, for fame at the expense of their happiness, at the expense of their families, at the expense of their health and everything else in between. And only to realize that for the small few that get there, that when they do get there, they realize, is this it? And again, they're left feeling very, very empty. And a great saying by a guy, Naval Ravikant, that really sums this up is, if you can't be happy with a cup of coffee, you'll never be happy with a yacht. And that leads me into talking about the difference between wealth and prosperity. But a little story, first of all, just to get a little bit of context. There were three very wealthy individuals that went to a party. One of the individuals was the party organizer. He was a billionaire and he hosted this get together on a private island of his. And the two other individuals that came were fund managers or multimillionaires. And one of the multimillionaire fund managers said to the other, He said, you know, this guy is a billionaire. He has made more money in one day than you have made in your whole entire lifetime. And the millionaire fund manager returned and said, well, do you know what? I've got one thing that he doesn't have and that is enough. And I just want you to let that sit in for a minute. Having enough. When do we know when enough is enough? The reality is most people don't set a barometer on what is enough. They don't actually check in with themselves to actually look at what is enough. And having enough is a very wealthy and happy and joyous place to be versus the highly driven strive to just accumulate more wealth and more resources, which essentially can ruin your health, can ruin your relationships and everything else. I'm not saying wealth is bad, I just want you to get the context here and utilize these lessons when it comes to thinking about your drive, your ambition, and your quest to grow your wealth and where it really is coming from. You might be asking yourself, what qualifies me to talk about wealth and prosperity? I'm only 33 years of age, I haven't got much life experience, blah, 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 blah. Well, my business does over seven figures in profit every single year, and I've helped an enormous amount of individuals build their wealth inside the health and wellness space. That's the area that I specialize in. So I wanna go into a little bit of depth here. There are so many of us that don't have a limit on what enough is. Now, I wanna explain the difference between wealth and prosperity. Wealth is the accumulation of resources. It's the desire for more and more things. One thing you need to realize about wealth is that wealth is fairly complex. As you accumulate more resources, you have more things to manage, you have more things to worry about, you worry about tax, you worry about protecting your money if you get ill, you buy more expensive things, often you can buy assets, you can buy liabilities, but essentially you've got 101 things to manage and it is more complex. When you look at prosperity, prosperity is about simplicity and what is really important in your life. So there's a huge contrast between the two. Prosperity is knowing that you have enough and knowing what is important and essentially is much easier to comprehend and live with than wealth. And a lot of people don't know that and they think that when they get wealthy, things will get significantly easier. And don't get me wrong, wealth and money can certainly help you solve a lot of problems, but it also creates more problems. As we've all heard the saying, more money, more problems. I am not in any way, shape or form against building wealth. When you strive to build wealth, you can build your character, you can build your belief system, you can acquire wisdom, and you can impact a lot of people, but it's a strive to build wealth coming from an empty place of trying to prove yourself or thinking that when you're wealthy, you're gonna become extremely happy or extremely joyous. A lot of people proceed into um, the goal of building wealth with that kind of mindset. And what you need to realize is that when ambition increases faster than satisfaction, that's whenever problems occur. Compared to whenever you look at prosperity, happiness is results minus expectation. And essentially, 
There's a big difference between the two. And I hope that this is settling for a lot of you that have been striving towards hitting a certain income with your business. I think when you begin to realize, hey, I would really, really love to be prosperous. I would love to have a simple life. I would love to know that I control my expectations. I would love to know that what is important in my life and essentially not worry about just hoarding and hoarding and hoarding more stuff. But the problem is, is that if you haven't experienced that, then you will not be familiar with the emotions and everything else that come with wealth. You will not be familiar with the emotions that come with having a reflection upon the wealth that you've built and knowing the difference between prosperity and wealth. I want to give you essentially the, the foresight if building wealth is a, a goal of yours to really just approach building wealth with this insight that prosperity is really realizing what's important, what is enough, and knowing that when you know what is enough, that you are in a much, much generally happier place than striving for more and more and more and more. more. Um, I have a couple of other points here that I want to talk about is why is our desire for wealth so rampant right now? Well, if you look at social media, the expectation on what is normal is often decorated with designer labels, cars, and essentially a ton of materialistic things. And it's so easy to shake that. So many people call it the highlight reel for a reason is that they highlight areas of their life or they highlight certain fashion garments or or certain particular elements that are worth a lot of money and they showcase them in front of their image. And that's all coincided with status, fame, likes, followers, all this kind of stuff. And our expectation of what is normal is so far removed from reality and we don't actually know the what's going on in the background of somebody's life who's actually trying to really go out of their way to portray that. Normally when you find somebody that's trying to portray a lot of wealth, um, it's usually for a marketing lesson or some kind of ploy to play into significance. Don't get me wrong, if you advertise luxury stuff and you're in the business of luxury, it probably makes sense. But in most cases, um, most people do it simply to feel better about themselves, to impress other people. One really important thing that I would love you to do is determine what is really important to you. Determine what you actually need to live a great high quality life every single month without fail. And then realize that you control the expectation of your wealth. You control the expectation of that. Get clear on the difference between what you need and what you want and realize that you always control that frame. Nobody else controls that frame. Don't get distorted by what social media is quite often portraying. And realize that breathing is prosperous. Breathing is prosperous. What you're currently going through in your life right now, what you have going on, is a period in your life where you will actually look back at at one point in time in the future and go, you know what, you remember the days when I was building this business and we had all these challenges and we had all this and it was great and it was fun and I was really proud of what I put myself through or do you remember the time when my kid was this age and you know I enjoyed seeing the reaction on their faces and all this kind of stuff. There is so much to be grateful for in your life right now and I think if you find that there is something missing, the only thing that is missing in your life right now is probably more presence in terms of actually realizing what's important to you. So I want to really just wrap this up with one rule to sort of rule all the rules of personal development in quotes, but stop striving for wealth in order to impress other people or make yourself feel more important because when you place more importance in trying to feel more important, it often has the opposite effect. When you truly believe in yourself and you work on your identity and you build the love and care and consideration for yourself, that is much more powerful than trying to force it and pretend that you're important or trying to get people's attention. There's an aura about it because people see the life that you have, they see the calmness that you have, and there's something very attractive about that. So the one rule to rule them all is stop worrying about what other people think of you and realize that buying things or accumulating wealth to impress other people is a fool's game. Prosperity is knowing what's important. Prosperity is knowing what's enough and realizing that you control your expectations. So I hope this has been useful for all of you that have been watching this all around the world. If you find it useful, comment below, share it, give us a review, tap like, you know the drill. It would really mean a lot to me because I love pumping these out. 
and I love hearing from all you guys about how it helped you think better, inspired you, etc., etc. Anyhow, over and out. See you soon.